So we talked about cloud to cloud interconnects, okay? Below that, you have cloud adjacency, mm -hmm. which we talked about before, yep. where you would have, for example, an exadata mm -hmm. with running Oracle database, cross-connected server-to-server -server communication in the same, you know, its cage connected to another cage in an Equinix co-location facility yep. with Amazon applications running on Amazon, for example, or Azure, mm -hmm. or Google, wherever the customer's choice may be. Yep. Now, question for you. When you look at that particular environment, and X data for every transaction is making one round trip mm -hmm. back to the cloud, you know, to the cloud and back to the exadata. If you just have a storage system, let's take a NetApp filer or a Dell EMC PowerMax 8000, their latest <laughs> offering. They can put all the persistent memory they want in it. They're making up to 30 trips from the system, that storage system, all the way back to that cloud because unlike an X data, which comprises the compute, the network, the storage, the database, all in an all-inclusive co-engineered integrated stack, right. That's just a storage system. So they have 30 times more work to do in a cloud adjacent mm -hmm. environment than in a engineered system. Right. Take well, us through what your thoughts on that. Well, that's going to be expensive, right, from a performance perspective. But that's literally what you get when you put in specialized players. So when you put a separate storage system to a network control plane to the compute load, there's going to be a need for fast network in between. There's going to be more traffic than if somebody puts all of this together in a single machine, which is optimized to just do the answer to the query which it received. And that's the big difference where you guys introduce a kind of like new software vendor converged hardware appliance. I'm not sure yet what the name for that will be. Or you, you call it Exadata, but uh, the and industry analysts don't have a name for that yet. And we'll see how successful this is because there's not many software vendors who can do the same similar thing. But that changes the best practice for the CIO and CTO. The unique thing is that you guys and SAP are the only ones who have the database code mm -hmm. and are engineering hardware for that, right? SAP does it with partners. You guys are doing it in-house. Right, so we give customers one company to call for any issues, and SAP has to deal with a multitude of companies. Yeah. So the net they, net they, they can kind of like look at that as well. The, the, the difference is there that you have to control and certify the partner hardware, which can be a slowdown, whereas you build the whole hardware optimized for And them. they don't have yeah. any insight into the hardware engineering or any of that. Yeah. So net-net, it's a multi-cloud environment. It's here to stay, and it's going to get increasingly competitive and right now, Oracle's the only company to offer a cloud-to-cloud -cloud interconnect with autonomous database powered by Exadata connecting to Microsoft Azure applications. With Microsoft, absolutely right. right.